Hi, this is Shannon Kringen, Goddess Kring. I'm trying to stay very calm. I've been a bit stressed lately. I want to show you my neck gaiters. This is one of my designs printed onto a neck gaiter. Here is another design of mine, a collage I made uh, printed onto a neck gaiter. This one is more complicated, very colorful. Uh, and there's a third one. Primal Krang self-portrait printed, and I, I will model them for you. Uh, they are $28 each. That includes shipping and tax. $28 each for these neck gaiters. They are uh, washable, uh, a machine or hand. I, I tend to hand wash them just to be gentle with them, but they are machine washable. And that's another design. I have to keep this in the package because somebody bought this for me, and I'm going to keep it clean for them. Um, so I will try these on for you, and I also have uh, face masks for sale. These are $20 each plus $5 for shipping per order. So if you ordered five masks, it would be $20 each, so $100 for the masks, and then five extra dollars for shipping. And these uh, are designs that I created. Um, and I have several designs available. If you go to my website, shannonkringen.com, there's a face mask page. And it has neck gaiters and face masks. So again, the neck gaiters are $28 each. That includes shipping and tax. And the face masks are $20 each, but an extra $5 per order for shipping. So you can email me with questions or comments. And also, if you want a design that you don't see on my face mask page, and Nick Gator page, you can look at my Flickr. I have over 6,000 photos on my Flickr. And so any, any abstract painting or design that I've created can be printed onto a Nick Gator or a face mask. And sorry, that's upside down. And any um, photo I've taken of a landscape or a tree or a plant or an animal. I have beautiful flower photos of water droplets, abstract reflections on water. I, I've taken like over 6,000 photos that I've uploaded to my Flickr and any photo that you see that I've taken that I own the copyright to, you can tell me which photo and I will print it onto a neck gaiter or a face mask for you. So here, just ask me, email me with questions or comments. And here's what these neck gaiters look like. So they are washable. Whoops. Uh, it's hard to get it to line up. Let's see, in the in the mirror, in the in the reflection. I'm trying to get this. I know this looks really strange. <laughs> I kind of like how weird it is, but Somebody suggested that I crop, but it's hard to get to line up right on the website, but crop the eyes out so that you can put it, but it's hard to get it line up, actually. So I've just been wearing it like this, and I think it's funny. I know, it looks really weird, but I like it. Um, okay, and then there's, uh, <laughs> you can also use it as a headband, although this looks really strange. Let's see, oh, it's backwards, let's see, it's hard to... <laughs> I don't have the right shaped head to wear a headband like this. I think my head's too flat on the top, but if you have one of those really beautiful heads that's nice and round on the top, it might look cool as a headband. Um, and it, I admit these are a little hot in the summer, but man, in the fall and the winter, they'll be more comfortable, um, keep you warm or whatever. So here's this one. This is like a collage. Whoop. And. Oh, let's see. I forgot what the dimensions are of these, but um, you can you can uh, ask me and I'll tell you. There, that's a more kind of complicated collage. And again, it can be used as a headband or like maybe even a hair tie. <laughs> There's my nice flat head. So that's kind of like, yeah, a thingy. And I think my one of my favorite designs is probably this green maze one. I call it green maze. I, this is a print making a design I made um, at a place in Seattle called Pratt Fine Arts Center. And I took a printmaking class and I made this design. And then I 
I turned it into a collage there. Uh, I don't know why I have a hard time lining that up in the in the mirror because the webcam is like a mirror there. I think that's one of my favorite designs. And this probably looks the best as a headband too. <laughs> there. <laughs> there it is as a headband. Um, and then the face masks uh, are like this. Is that upside down? No, that goes like this. It goes like this. And these are washable. These face masks are washable. Um, sorry, the sunlight is a bit bright, so it's blocking out the color. But um, there's that design. Then there's this design, the more intricate design. Whoops. I don't know why I'm so bad at, at um, making these um, not crooked. Forgive me. I There. I'm a little dyslexic, so I feel like when I see a reflection of something, I can't figure out how to how to do it um, the right way. And then there's this design. I have several of these different designs, but I only have a few samples available to show you right now. Maybe I do have another one over here. Where is that? Sorry, I'm I'm a little bit disorganized right now. Um, oh, there's this design. This is, oh gosh, this is all tangled up. Okay, this is one of my favorite designs. So I'll show you what that looks like. Oh, and then a little tag is sticking out. There, there's a little tag in there with washing instructions. There. Although, actually, I actually think it looks better. Which way does this design go? Well, there. These are, and they're big enough actually to fit on top of if you have, oh, where is that? If you, oh, I thought I had my, I'm a little disorganized, forgive me. Um, I thought I had my N95. Well, I don't have it. I don't know where it is, but you know those N95 masks? These masks are big enough to fit on top of, like if you feel like you need extra protection, you can wear an N95 and then you can put this on top of the other mask. So those are some of the designs that I have. And again, you can go to shannikringa.com and find my Flickr. And if you don't know how to find that, just email me and I'll tell you. So there's over 6,000 designs. So Nick Gators. Neck Gators and Face Masks by Shannon Kringen. That's just what this video is about. I just wanted to say that. And my cat um, is ill, but he's doing better. I just, for people who care, it's now uh, July 25th as I'm recording this. Thanks for listening. Okay, bye for now. Good luck to everyone. Hope you're doing well. Please email me with questions or comments. And if you like my YouTube channel, please subscribe and like this video. And please share it with anyone you want that might get something out of it. Thank you so much. Have a good day.